While we think of a hyper child as someone that is overstimulated, that we need to calm down, we are actually talking about someone that is understimulated, that we need to charge up. Why do children with ADHD fidget and move and cannot sit still? So I'm sure most parents will um, find themselves in this scenario of feeling like they're constantly saying to their child, calm down, stop, sit down, stay still. And some of them wouldn't, you know, they'll take a bite of their food, jump around, come for another bite. Um, obviously, same goes for homework. So something that would that would generally take five minutes will take them 20 minutes, half an hour, even an hour, just because of this constant uh, motor restlessness, we can call it. So if we look at, at to, into one main aspect of, um, of this kind of challenge, we're looking at the battery of the brain. It's called the SMR, the sensory motor rhythm. And if we think of the SMR like the battery of our car, we all know what happens when the battery is about to go flat or gone flat already. We get the help, we start the car again, and we know that the last thing that we can do, or can, we can afford to do at the moment, is switch the car off. Why? Because we won't be able to switch it back on, right? So we need to keep driving. We have no battery, but we have to keep driving, right? Another example that doesn't have to do with the car, and then that would be really easy to then relate it back to the SMR, will be that, think of yourself after a sleepless night, a stressful day at work, and then you're hosting di for dinner. And you get back home and you start going around like crazy, setting the table, making, you know, making the food, doing the shopping, everything. And you know that if you sit on the sofa for one minute, that's it. You're not going to get yourself back up, right? And nothing else is going to happen. This is a low b battery. And this is exactly what happens when SMR is low in the brain. Low SMR, significantly low SMR, is found many times in uh, hyperactive brains. And so, in order to maintain their day and not fall asleep or switch off completely, they have to keep moving. They can't afford to stop because if they stop, they're out. So while we think of a hyper child as someone that is overstimulated, that we need to calm down, we are actually talking about someone that is understimulated, that we need to charge up. And only when you charge up the SMR, they can afford calming down and still staying awake and aware because they know they have enough battery to continue their day. Neurofeedback can address, obviously, SMR patterns in the brain and teach the brain how to 